guys welcome back to my channel it's me Mia and today I am um, filming a video just talking about the pros and cons of being a orthodontic assistant and also the duties that we do as a orthodontic assistant so if you are interested stay tuned and yeah let's get started so uh, the first thing I want to talk about um, a lot I get this question a lot is like what exactly do we do as orthodontic assistants and if you don't know um, an orthodontic assistant is a dental assistant who specializes in orthodontics which we work with um, doing braces retainers Invisalign um, and other different other different things um, regarding with straightening the teeth um, so that's kind of like what we do as ortho assistants um, hold on okay. one second. I just want to make sure you guys can see me um, so some of the pros and cons I'm gonna start with the pros of being a orthodontic assistant and then I'll do like a few um, of the cons so um, one of the pros of being a ortho assistant is we get to do a lot of the work we do about 90% of the work um, and by um, what I mean by doing the work is like we actually get to work in the mouth like the doctor tells well my doctor does he tells us what we need to do and then we do exactly what he says my doctor in particular he likes to write um, everything down um, so for example he might say on the paper um, the wires um, how we're gonna tie in the wire if we need to add different springs if we need to um, do impressions or he basically writes it all down and I like that because it leaves um, no room for error so that's what I like about the current doctor that I work for he pretty much is you pretty much know what you're gonna get because he writes everything down Another pro of being a orthodontic assistant is seeing the patients, um, their journey and seeing how much their lives change by you working in the mouth and getting them the result that they want, you know. Um, it's such a good feeling. I've had tons of patients who are so thankful to us and you know we get gifts and stuff too I like I I like that too <laughs> that's another pro like I have um what's the word I'm trying to say I have patients who request me like um the way that my office works is we just go by whoever I'm trying to explain it in a good way so when the patients come in they check in and we we just grab whoever is first or whatever and what i like about my office is that patients can request you to work on them and i have a lot of requests which is really cool because i like that you know i like building that bond and that rapport with the patients so that's another pro i actually had a patient before i left for maternity leave she got me um this little pocket mirror thing and she got it from thailand so that was really cool um we've had patients buy us food donuts and pizza and you know it's just really cool that they care about us so much that they think of us and get us things you know which we don't require or ask for anything it's just really nice that they they do that you know Christmas time is like the best time because the gifts and yeah it's really cool it's just really thoughtful another pro I would say is um, I like the hours or my hours that I work um, as you guys know I work Monday through Thursday we get Fridays off we never have to work weekends um, and that's awesome another pro that I love 
are the benefits that we get um, each company is different so I don't know um, what different companies offer but for like my company they offer 401k we have um, life insurance we have health insurance um, if you choose to do that I don't have to have that because my husband is military so I don't have to get like health insurance um, I also like that um, dental is included um, so we don't have to pay anything for dental unless it's like um, if you're getting like uh, like a specialty um, so you get that discounted I believe um, what else the cons I would have to say um, it's not many cons for me personally I think our patients are great I think my doctor is great <laughs> I'm going back to all the pros um, I would say the only cons would be like um if the patient is not like a good brusher and you're constantly going over like oral hygiene like hey 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 um i know it was especially hard for me when i was pregnant um seeing some of the hygiene like it would make me kind of like queasy um i would say that's definitely a con um but that's part of like working in the mouth and it's our job as ortho assistants to educate on good hygiene good oral hygiene i would say another con would be i don't know if it i guess you could consider it a con but i i have so many pros like i love i love being a orthodontic assistant like i said i've been doing it seven years and it is by far one of the greatest jobs like I've I've had you know um, and yeah so let's talk about a little bit what we do as orthodontic assistants I am as you guys know I'm a certified orthodontic assistant um, and I do have like expanded functions if you're not sure what that is it's like we're allowed to do a little bit more if that makes sense um, than like a regular orthodontic assistant so for me we do impressions which those are the little molds of the teeth um, my office that I currently work at I don't have to make retainers but I have made them in the past at different offices that I've worked in where um, they're called Essex or suck downs or clear aligners um, I've made those um, previously and it's pretty easy <laughs> but I don't have to do it at my new office that I'm at because we have a lab person but that is something um, that most orthodontic assistants can do is um, make retainers um, what else do we do we also do arch wire changes and that's where we place the wires in the mouth or take them out we put um, ties on we do um, impressions we do x-rays and you must um, have your certification your x-ray certification I'm sorry my nose is itching a little bit ah. you must have your x-ray certification to do x-rays I know when I was pregnant, I was allowed to set up my patients in the x-ray machine, but I was not allowed to push the button. Um, my coworkers stayed on me about it. My doctor stayed on me about it. My office manager stayed on me about it um, because they just didn't want me around that radiation. So we do x-rays. We do, they're called um, panoramic and um, cephalometric x-rays, pan or ceph, whatever you want to call it. Um, we do those we also have to have good I guess bedside manner and that's basically talking to the patients speaking with their parents or if it's an adult speaking with the adult explaining the treatment this is like probably one of the most important things um, with being an assistant you have to know what you're doing you have to um, understand what 
what's the goal, what the plan is uh, for the patient because of course they have questions and they might ask, okay, so why are we doing this wire or how much longer am I gonna be in braces or why do we have to do this? And you have to be able to explain it um, well to them and to the parents and um, that's very 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 important uh, what I love about my doctor is he likes to quiz me <laughs> to make sure I know what I'm doing and like I don't know if you guys seen um, my one video where I explained how I became a orthodontic assistant if not I'll leave a link down below but the first doctor I ever worked for he was a teaching doctor and so a lot of the time he explains why we did certain things so for me i um i like to understand it so that i can explain it to the patient if i don't understand i like to ask the doctor why we are doing a certain procedure a certain way um i never really like ask in front of the patients um just because you don't want them to think that you don't know what you're doing um, so a lot of times if I don't understand something or if I don't know something, I'll ask the doctor and my doctor is really great at explaining things. Um, and yeah, he's pretty, he's pretty awesome. My team is pretty awesome. Like if I, um, there's other assistants who have been doing it longer than I have. Um, and they are a great help. So they will help out too if you don't understand something. Um, what else do we do? We do a lot. Um, cleaning, um, infection control, that is very important. Um, and sterilization, that's very important. We have to, um, we don't have like a sterilization tech. So at my, at this particular office that I work at, so we all do sterilization. Sterilization and infection control is very, very, very important. So we have to scrub our instruments, we have to clean our instruments, we have to put them in um, the sterilizer, the autoclave, if you don't know what an autoclave is, it's um, like a big sterilizer and it um, sterilizes like our hand pieces. Um, we also, we don't, at my particular office, I get this question a lot too. Um, people wanna know if we actually put brackets on. This current doctor that I work for, um, we do not place any brackets. We do everything but place brackets um, because he likes them a certain way, he does it a certain way, um, and it's just better that he does it, if that makes sense, so that you don't mess up because um, we call it bonding. There is particular steps that you have to take. We have at this particular office that I work at, I know I say this a lot, um, we don't have a lot of what we call bond failures and that's because of the steps that we take. So we do not place brackets. However, we do take brackets off. So um, if a patient is getting their braces off, um, the first thing that happens, for example, the doctor comes over, he checks, makes sure everything looks good. We do what's called bonded retainers. Um, the assistants do those unless it's an upper bonded retainer. Then the doctor, he does that. Um, but we do um, bonded retainers. We take the braces off. We um, polish the teeth. Um, yeah, but we don't use, we are not in my state where I live in, we are not allowed to use um, the high speed hand pieces. We are not allowed to, it's, we cannot. Um, what else? I'm trying to make sure I'm like covering every, it's so much, it's so many different things that we do. Um, I cover, we do retainers, we do take off braces. Um, what else do we do? We do um, different appliances. Um, a lot of times, like I said, we make we make our clear retainers, our Essex retainers. So, or not we, but the lab does. And if we need like a special retainer, like the Holly retainers, if you know what that is, that's the one with the little bar that goes across. Um, we send that to an outside lab. So, 
um what else do we do i mean we do a lot we do basic i guess you want to call house cleaning like wiping things down and sweeping and dusting and um but we don't clean bathrooms because we have cleaners for that um and we don't clean floors except for sweeping we do our trash we uh keep our areas clean um what i love about my particular office is that we are really clean and um i've worked for other offices that aren't as clean as we are so i'll just leave that at there <laughs> i'll just leave that there so i hope i answer you guys questions um the pros and cons of being an ortho assistant please leave down below right now right now I'm in my dining room slash living room slash kitchen. <laughs> um, if you have any questions or any video suggestions. Uh, and yeah, so I hope that answered everything. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.